What's up guys, Corey here. Just want to do a quick video of how to, uh, another way to lift the top off your Jeep. It's January, it's cold here in Iowa, but I just wanted to show you a quick video of how I get that top on that Jeep up into the ceiling in the summer. Now it's pretty simple. This is one of the cheapest ways you guys can do this. It's basically just four ratchet straps hanging from the ceiling. You can see up there, I've got two sets of angle iron that I basically just drilled right up into the rafters, lag bolted them in. I've got one, two, three, four lag bolts per piece of angle iron. And then the nice thing about this angle iron is it's got holes in it so you can move your straps accordingly where you want to to get the best lift points for your Jeep. So basically, what I do is I'll, I'll pull in, I'll back the Jeep in, right there, I'll back it in, I'll line it up, and then I'll obviously unbolt the screws on the Jeep, make sure you got the Jeep completely unbolted. And then what I do is I come over to the Jeep, and I'll open the door, and I'll put a hook here. I'll flip this open, I'll put a hook here, the window open, over there with the window open. And then essentially what I do is with these ratchet straps, you just go around. It only takes one person to do this. Go around with the ratchet straps, slowly just ratchet up each side. As it breaks free, ratchet up a couple inches, then come to this one. Ratchet it up a couple inches, go to the next one. And essentially, the top to your Jeep will ratchet off. You can bring it up probably four, five, six inches above the Jeep and you just drive right out. It's really, really simple. It's January, uh, that's why the, I'm, I'm not doing a full demonstration of this, but I want you guys to see this so you can get ready. Maybe do one in your garage this spring. Um, so basically it's just the cost of the angle iron up there. I don't know, those are maybe 10, 15 bucks a piece. And then the ratchets are probably another uh, 20 bucks. And then you basically have some lag bolts for a couple bucks. So, I mean, worst case scenario, this setup took about 40 bucks. And one person can do it. And basically what you do is, if you have your Jeep off, like six months out of year like I do, you just get up there, pull down your rat, or obviously you can't pull down your rat strap. So when you're not using it, you got the top on the Jeep, you can just, you can pull another car in or whatnot. You just raise the uh, straps up or take them off. And then when the Jeep's sitting there, uh, you can ratchet up high enough, however high you want, and pull a car in underneath it, or you can actually pull the Jeep in straight under it. So the hood is actually under the hood, or I'm sorry, the Jeep top is under, on top of the hood. So guys, this is a really cheap way to do it. It's really easy. Uh, one person can take the top on and off and it's pretty safe too. It's just pretty simple. Doesn't take a lot of effort, takes a little bit of time. And I bet as long as you can find the joist in the ceiling, make sure you're into the wood. You don't wanna drill this thing right into the uh, drywall ceiling and try to hook your top up to that, that's not gonna turn out well. Your Jeep hood, is, or your Jeep top is gonna come crashing down. So just make sure, I, if I were you, after you get this thing installed, you hang from it. Make sure all your weight put on it. Make sure that that, uh, that angle iron that you're attached to is attached to the studs. That's gonna be uh, the number one thing for success. And then when you guys are ratcheting up this 
top, make sure that these are closed. The ratchet struts need to be closed. So this is almost open. That is closed and locked, so it's not gonna come down. So guys, in the spring, uh, in a few months, I will uh, post a video on this actually in use, but I just wanna give you guys an idea of what you could do this winter to get set up so you guys are ready to go topless in the spring. Thanks for watching.